Hey, hello. So, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about Apache Redis, a high-performance WAF library. Uh, my name is Jiwo Nicholas C. So, I'm a software engineer. I'm also an amateur mathematician. And I'm a PMC member of Apache Hadoop, Ozone, and also Redis. So, there's some fun fact for me is that I use Hadoop to create a Pi record in 2010. And in 2008, I also discovered a deterministic parameter proofing algorithm for port number. So this is part of my PhD uh, thesis. So today, I'm going to talk about, um, I, I first give a brief introduction of WAF, and I'll uh, describe the Redis community and also the Redis feature. So before I start with introduction uh, the WAF, uh, I want to ask uh, how many of you know WAF already? Okay. <laughs> then uh, maybe not everyone, so maybe I should give this introduction. So first of all, we want to know what is consensus. So consensus basically is a multiple server. We want to agree a value. For example, here we have five server. They want to agree some value. How, how, how should we do it? And the typical use case is that uh, we want to do a uh, log replication. And also for a uh, replicator state machine, uh, in other words, we want to have high availability. So uh, I'm not sure if you attended the other session talking about the Accord consensus algorithm. So they describe the Paxo algorithm in a lot of detail. So Paxo algorithm uh, dis uh, discovered in 1990. So it works, but it's very hard to understand. And also, because it's hard to understand, it's hard to implement. And in 2014, there's a paper called In Search of an Understandable Consensus Algorithm. And they uh, dis discover this uh, WAF algorithm. So the one purpose is that they want to make this algorithm easy to understand and easy to prove. And because it's easy to prove, it's easy to implement. And the WAF algorithm basically had two phases. The first phase is leader election. So all the server, when they start, they start as a forward. And the forward may random timeout, and when the timeout, it becomes a candidate. And when it becomes a candidate, it starts a leader election. Basically, the, the candidate send a vote request to the other server, and a server will vote for the candidate if the candidate had up-to-date data. And the candidate, once it got the majority of votes, it becomes a leader. Because of the majority, it's impossible to have two leaders at the same time. And then, once we have a leader, the client can send requests to the leader. If a leader gets the request, the leader says, I'm not the leader, and reject the request. And the leader will forward the request as log entry to other server. And same as before, the leader will wait for a majority. If we get the majority, the request is committed. And also, also because of the majority, uh, the, re the committed request are safe, uh, regardless of failure or, or restarts. And sometimes the cluster may be idle. If the cluster is idle, then uh, the leader still send empty append entry as heartbeat to maintain leadership. So this is what, uh, basically. <laughs> So it sounds very simple. And we call that the WAF algorithm uh, is in 2014. And in 2016, for Hadoop Ozone, we want to use WAF. So we want to use WAF for HA. We also want to use WAF for the white pipeline. And in our case, we want to find a WAF library at that time. And we found that there's a long list of WAF implementation. However, none of them is a general library so that we can use it. And most of them just a part of another project. And it's not easy for other projects to use it. So in that time, we think that we need a WAF library. So that's why we started this uh, Apache Redis project. So we started uh, 2016. And we also joined the Apache implication in 2017. Uh, then, uh, in, at the same time, 2017, Ozone start using it. And in 2020, we got the free first uh, GA release. Uh, and, and the next year, we become a top level Apache project. 
And now we, uh, we already have the latest uh, 3.0.1 release. So who use Apache Redis? So of course Apache Ozone use Redis because we build Redis for Ozone. So Ozone uses for the high availability. Ozone have uh, OM, Ozone Manager, and also SCM, uh, Storage Container Manager. They use uh, Redis for high, high availability. And Ozone also use Redis for the white pipeline to replicate data. And when you have a good library, other project will, use, will start using it also. So we have Alexio, we also have Apache LTDB, we also have Apache uh, Calibon uh, using Redis. And when your library is good but it does not have enough feature, they will contribute to it. Actually, uh, for the Redis community, we find all these projects, they contribute back. Actually, they want to use a the feature, they contribute to Redis. Especially uh, LTDB, they uh, contribute a lot in Redis. So for, what is the general use case for Redis? Is that when we have a server, we have a, we have a surface running using a single server, uh, you want to replicate the server data to multi-post machine. And the replication number, you want, sometimes you may want to change it. And also you, you may also want to tolerate server failure. And the second say is HA. So HA is, is something like that when a server fails, you want to another server automatically take over the server. And also the client can automatically fail over to other server. So if you want to feature like this, then Redis is for you. So uh, Apache Redis, of course, is uh, open source, open development, and also community driven. And we have, uh, is, uh, also is Apache License 2.0. Uh, it's written in Java 8. So contribution are welcome uh, if you are interested. <laughs> So here I will give you a list of uh, Redis features. So of course, uh, Redis, uh, we implement all the standard uh, WAR features. Uh, the leader election of log replication I described in the beginning, so I won't repeat. So we support uh, membership change. So members in the WAR group can be uh, changed in one time. And also the number of the member also can change in one time. And we also have uh, log compaction. Basically, we will take snapshot periodically, and we can send snapshot instead of sending the long uh, log history. And Apache Redis is uh, highly packable. So we have, first of all, we have packable state machine. So this is a, a application logic. So a, a, an application must define its state machine. And because Apache Redis is a library, we want to, or we don't want to force the other application to use. Uh, other library, for example, metrics. So we support uh, packable metrics. Uh, we support uh, down resource metric V3 and also V4. And application can also provide an implementation of other metrics. We also support packable RPC. Uh, uh, by default, we use gRPC, and gRPC have most of the feature, and we also support Netty and Hadoop RPC. Uh, we also support WAF, uh, WAF log packable, and by default, you write the log to a local file. And we also have uh, implementations for writing the log to the memory for testing. And user, of course, can also provide their own log implementation. So Apache Redis is high performance. Uh, one reason is that uh, we have a, this event, asynchronous event-driven architecture. So we implement it by gRPC, Netty, and also Java uh, Computable Future and Executor APIs. And for, for the server-to-server -server append entry communication is asynchronous. And for the client-to-server uh, communication is also asynchronous. So we have uh, async API for, uh, for the client, uh, uh, for client request. For, uh, when the client have a request, it sends the request to the leader. So you may use this as a send message and then get back a future. And the future uh, may compete later. And they also can send read-only request and then get back a future. And for the blocking API, basically we just use, uh, we just make it convenient for the user. We just use the 
async API. So whenever we get a future, we just call get, and then it become a blocking API. So Apache Theoretics also designed for data incentive uh, web application. As we mentioned earlier, we also use Redis for replicate the data. So in WAF, all the transaction and the data are written into the log. So the log entry basically is the data plus metadata. And the state machine also will store the data. And we have this uh, Y amplification problem. So a single Y become two Y, because we write to the log and also write to the state machine storage. So in Redis, we have this feature that the, the application can choose not to write all the data to the log. It can say that, okay, I'm going to write the metadata to the log and then write the data to the state machine. And Redis also had this uh, streaming API. So in the picture in this uh, right hand corner, uh, this is a WAF uh, diagram. And in Redis, we support something called streaming. The client can write to the closest peer instead of the leader. And then the first peer, we forward the request to the second uh, peer, and the second peer, we forward to the third peer. And the client actually may provide a routing table, say that, okay, I tell you how to forward the data. And we implement this uh, using uh, Letty. Uh, we have Letty zero copy. In our code, we never create or copy buffer. So we, we will get the buffer from Letty and then we will keep using it. And one thing I want to mention is that Letty buffer and the OS level zero copy buffer uh, is a little bit different. Some, I mean, sometimes it will be different. <laughs> Because we also need to rely on the client also have this using a zero buffer copy. If the client is not using zero copy, the client have a user space copy, then we have to copy it once. And we found that uh, the streaming uh, is something like 3x performance better than the, uh, the existing WAF API. Uh, the reason is that we, when there's a multiple client, there may be multiple different streams uh, writing to different uh, s server. And this is something like we are using all full power of free server. Before, uh, in this uh, WAF case, the leader is actually is a bottleneck because you can see that the leader is very busy. You need to take the data from the client and also forward the data to the forward. And this is a bottleneck. And here, we don't have the bottleneck. All server become uh, uh, similar. And in Redis, we also support something called read from forward. So in original um, design of WAF, they, can, they must write to the leader and read from the leader. Um, uh, and we support this something called indesirable read. So the can can read updated data from forward. And we support, we implement it using the read index algorithm and the leader's list. And this is also in the Actually, it's not in the paper, but it's in the thesis, the WAF thesis. And we support something called stale read. Sometimes, in some applications, they don't care about stale data. For example, they write something, they know that they, the data won't change anymore, it's uh, immutable. Then they can read it. They easily uh, able to read it or, or, or it's not fun. Then they never read stale data. Then in that case, they can use this stale API, stale read API. In Redis, we also uh, support something called read after way consistency. So suppose that uh, the x is equal to one, and then I can send the following request asynchronously. So they say y x equal to y x equal three, and then read x. So what will it get for read x? So intuitively, we think that it should get x equal to three. But now the problem is that we are doing this asynchronous, and also read and write are the two different paths. They are not the same path. So it may be the case that even the read send later on, it can be executed earlier than the write. So in this case, actually we may return either one, two, or three. So in reality, we support uh, read after write consistency. Uh, it's configurable, and if it's used, then it, it always return three. And we also support uh, watch requests. Uh, so by default, uh, in the WAF, when 
when there's a majority, uh, the leader will return, and then the replication level at that time is only majority. And the client say that, okay, I want to uh, wait for more. For example, we want to uh, wait for all, uh, replicate to all server. Then they, they can use watch request. So we also have uh, majority commit and also all commit. And in Redis, we also have this feature called multi WAF. Multi WAF means that a single server can join multiple WAF group. Uh, when they join multiple WAF group, they can be a follower in one group and then a, a leader for the other group. Uh, for example, DN2 is this case, DN2 is follower and also a leader. And Redis also supports security, so we support uh, TLS connection. And application basically had to pass the TLS con to Redis client and server, and then we will uh, we will have authentication and we yeah we will use it to establish a secure connection. We then have authentication and encryption. And for leadership, uh, we can uh, change leader. Uh, for example, uh, maybe there's some maintenance that we want to uh, update the server, then we can change the leader to other server and then update the server. We can also uh, pulse and resume uh, leader election. And as mentioned before, we have snapshot. Uh, we support the standard uh, WAF snapshot feature. And we can auto trigger snapshot. And also, we can config the snapshot retention policy. And in some application, uh, they want to manage the snapshot themselves, then they can to uh, use this uh, snapshot notification feature. So for notification, we only send the notification, we won't install snapshot. Then the forward had to install snapshot from an external source. So we also support a manual snapshot creation. And Redis also had this uh, server priority. Uh, in a server can assign to different priority. So a higher priority server won't go for the lower priority server unless a higher priority server is outdated. And because of this reason, the lower priority server won't become the leader unless all the higher priority server vote for it. So this is, uh, some, sometimes uh, we want, because the uh, application had to write data to the leader, sometimes we want to fix the leader to some location so that we can get the locality. So this feature can uh, use in that case. Uh, 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 maybe uh, the support, uh, I believe you know the Apache x project. And Redis actually has a log surface for the Apache x project. And they use this feature to fix the server to, so that the leader is in the region server. And for Redis, we also support something called non-voting member. And what the moving uh, basically the listener to list for listening the log. And they receive the listener only receive a pen entry and they don't vote and they don't count for majority. So you may we may consider that uh, they can they serve as a hot standby. And for example, we don't have free load. Uh, if one load fail, we can we can uh, change the listener, become a, a follower, and then we, we, we can get back free load. Otherwise, we need to bootstrap a new node. It, 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 will long, it will take longer time. Oh, actually, I think I speak quite fast. <laughs> uh, so, and we also have a command line interface to, to do, for example, you can check the group, uh, get the information, uh, get the listing. And we can also change the peer uh, using command line interface. Uh, we can check a creating snapshot. Uh, for leader action, we can say we want to transfer lead, leader from one machine to other machine. Or we can say that uh, the leader had to step down to, and then we will do an election to choose another leader. Uh, we also pause and resume uh, leader election. And we also have a new command uh, called local is for uh, fixing the Fixing the WAFCON, MetaCon, because sometimes they want to change, 
uh, in some use case that uh, people want to change the IP address or the the in some information of a peer. Uh, because it's writing in, it's, it's written in the WAVCON, they can even they change it. It's not working, so they need to also update the uh, MetaCon. And I think, yeah, I think actually, I have some else to lie. Uh, maybe I stop for a moment and see if you have any question. If you don't have any question, I can go through my backup slides. So thanks everyone.